seven normal, you know, top tasks that most people do. So what we'll first do is we'll first go into the email. And this is typically what you're going to see when you open up any smartphone. You go into here, you're going in, and then you got to keep going back and forth. One nice thing about what Echo does is when you actually open it up, there's two modes. You can actually use it just as a normal, uh, like a, what we call like a laptop mode, or it'll actually completely close down flat to be one screen. Now, the difference here between this phone and most other smartphones is when you go into this, you still have your different email strings, but when you go into here, this actually comes into the whole body of the email. You kind of see it a little bit better when we put it into the portrait mode, where you have it. So it almost kind of mimics like an outlet for this like type of area, where you have your preview screen here, and then you have your different emails there. Some of the other applications we have is if you want to go into your different I'm going to go into the gallery. Yeah. Gives you the option to go into your different ones. And now what it'll do is you can actually start playing a video up here. And while you're playing a video, you can actually navigate through all the different pictures that you have. And if you just want to look through your different pictures, you can actually go through here. You have these different areas of preview. Or you can just swipe depending on how you'd like to do it. And that's dual wide VGA displays, three and a half inch? Yes. So, and then once you go into messaging, one of the key things here with this dual optimized screens here is when you go in to put a new text message in, this whole bottom screen, so you've got a full three and a half inches worth of screen that's going to wind up becoming just the keyboard, which is going to be one of the largest virtual keyboards you can use. It makes testing, uh, texting really easy. So very, very simple, very easy to use. The other nice thing is we actually have a gesture that if you press the two at the same time, you can switch through different tasks. And now what you can kind of do is while you're in text messaging in one, you can start surfing the web in the other one. So you can go here, you can go to the different favorites, you can go to your website. And in the meantime, you can actually still continue to text message if you want to. Tap these again. I can go into the different ones here. I can go into my email on this one. So while I'm in my email, searching through everything here, I'm still able to surf the web down here. Uh, if you touch the bottom here, you'll notice that there's a button here. What this will do is this will bring it up so that it's one whole screen. Or if you want to open up your own separate one, what's going to wind up happening is if you touch down there again, it winds up going back and opens up two different web browsers. So up here you can go in. You can go to the different ones here. Actually, you can take it all the way back while this one's still open. You can go all the way back to your different home screens. And it allows for full optimization. The last one thing here we have is actually especially the design one for the for the Echo. And this is what allows you when you go in to view different YouTube videos. And while you're playing the YouTube videos, it'll bring related videos down that you're actually able to stream around, and you can actually go ahead and drag those over. So while this one's actually uploading, the other ones you can actually chew in while they're, while they're, while they're playing. So you're building a playlist. Yes, yeah, you're essentially building a playlist with this device. And then again, once you're receiving a call and a call comes in, just flip it right back down and you're back to just a normal touch screen. Now. And again, just going back into here, if you go into your different, this is your little one, switch it up to, and again, it brings down the full dial pad, which actually makes for a large screen, you can actually go through your different ones. Unfortunately, there's no call log in there. Right, so we're looking at 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, it's 3G data? 3G, correct. 3G data. And do you know what the weight is on the device? 6.8 ounces. 6.8 ounces, great. Okay, so that's the Kyocera Echo for Sprint. I'm Michael Orr for MobileBurn.com.